Okay, are we recording? Okay, there we go. All right, so hi everybody, it's your girl anybomb.com. I'm finally back after like a two month hiatus from YouTube, not on purpose, but um, I had some things to do. And if you haven't been following me, um, I have some great news for you. I passed my boards, it's finally done and over with. And if you've been following me, you know that I felt my boards back in February. Um, who's this calling me? I called him back. Um, yeah, I felt my boards back in February. I was, you know, sad. I fell down. Um, I was trying to figure out where I went wrong with things. I had a lot going on. And I do have a video uh, that I made right after I found out that I felt my boards because I wanted to be real raw and transparent with you guys. That's my thing. All well, about transparency. But um, after that, I just picked up, you know, I picked up. I guess I put on my bad bitch boots. That's what I call them. Excuse my language. Um, and I strapped them on and I got going, you know. Uh, so I took like a month off from studying because I was studying so much. Uh, my brain was fried. So I started studying, you know, lightly back in April. Uh, I took my pants again on May 30th, uh, which was the soonest that I could take my pants because you have to wait 90 days from... The date that you failed to retake your pants which sucks but i mean you can take longer than 90 days but i was ready to get it done and over with so i studied lightly in april and then like when may first hit i was like oh shoot i gotta get to it so i am going to tell you guys how i did it so um how i studied last time i used pants prep pearls and rash review that's all i basically did like i would review and um pants prep pearls and I do rash review questions and I watch some online meded.org videos here and there uh and I thought that I was doing okay because I was doing good on the rash review um I thought I understood the material uh and that didn't work for me last time so this time I was like hmm what can I change this time um for my study habits so I did a little bit of research on you know how to study for your pants and everybody has a different study style and I'm like okay so that one didn't work last time so what can I do this time so this time I used pants prep pearls I used um med geeks I used hippo ed which was fantastic and um this time I studied to understand last time I studied to memorize if that makes sense so um, last time I was just looking for things that I could remember like oh yeah I remember this I remember that versus un understanding so my logic this time was okay if I don't know something if I understand what's going on I can figure out the, the right answer or at least get it down to two answers instead of um, just looking for like buzzwords or things that I was supposed to remember so that was my strategy this time I also did a lot of um, simulation exams so i would like simulate the pants environment uh so you get five blocks of 60 questions on pants and you get 60 minutes each so i would study then i would go to hippo ed and click um test mode and have it randomized and i would time myself uh i would turn my phone on do not disturb um you know i had like little snacks in between you get a uh, 45 minute break so i will simulate that break i also use smarty pants i forgot about that um uh, smarty pants definitely helped but smarty pants questions are a little bit too easy uh for with the pants uh what's the word that i'm looking for for what the pants has in real life and smarty pants smarty pants is kind of just to like reinforce what you already know uh, I would say that Hippo Ed had a really good question bank. So did um, Med Geeks. Um, Med Geeks and Hippo Ed both offer videos. So the Hippo Ed videos would be uh, in detail. And the people who do Hippo Ed, they actually used to be question writers for the pants. So they would give you hints like you don't really need to know this or this is something that they will test you on and th for the most part they were right i know the pants has changed for 2019 which sucks but it is what it is uh 
and I will watch the hippo ed videos. I had the study guide that they give you, I had the video, and then I had my notebook. I would take notes, um, highlight, I would then do the questions, and then when I would walk my dog or if I was at the gym, whatever I was doing, I would watch the Meg Geek videos on my phone because like they have this little app in my phone for you guys so I can show you. They have this little app and on the app the videos aren't as in depth as they are on uh on the computer but they're like quick rundowns so i don't know if you oh let me wipe my phone off that looks gross i'm embarrassed so so this is what it looks like and it basically goes through the nccpa blueprint which i also use that's how i study the topics um you know section by section and it breaks it down and hearing everything over and over again helped me understand and remember the information that I needed to know so that's the type of learner that I am I needed to see it I needed to write it and I needed to hear it instead of like reading pants prep pros and doing questions that didn't reinforce any information for me that was just like passive studying I had to actively study this time and that's a good tip make sure you are actively studying and not passively studying you can do you can passively study after you actively study like you know when I'm driving Instead of listening to, you know, my girl Meg, I'm listening to Meg Geeks. <laughs> so that's how I passively study. So the repetition just made it stick instead of like just the information leaving my brain. Um, then I also, you know, I broke it down section by section, uh, system by system. And I believe like the last week, that's when I just started to review the systems and I started to review things that I didn't quite remember and um, I review uh, pharmacology as well I know a lot of people skip out on the farm but I was trying to get as much as I can because I knew it and I knew it oh my gosh I'm slow I knew that <laughs> I had to pass this exam to start my career as a PA this is like the final thing for you to become a PAC so yeah so my study schedule i did a little different i followed the blueprint and the uh percentages so whatever had the most percentage which is cardiology like everybody knows is now 13 percent instead of 16 percent, but it's still a lot and then i went down the list and i did like gu slash reno because that's 10 percent now then palm and etc 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 um and i also would say if i did cardiology let's say I did cardiomyopathies and um, valvular disease one day and you know whatever whatever that next morning I would watch the Mad Geek quick videos on my phone while I was walking my dog to reinforce what I already learned or relearned the previous day so um, that's what worked for me what else I got a little notepad to remind me of what to talk about uh, so I did a lot of like research when I after I failed my exam like my Google search bar history was like I failed pants what do I do now I failed pants like what's next what's next 2019 pants the passing rate and I actually found out on the internet that a lot of uh, PA programs passing rates have gone down by a lot with this 2019 exam they're not going to post the final passing rate of the 2019 exam because it's not December yet it's only June however um I don't know a couple people from my class failed I wasn't the only one I do know there were there were other, other programs who had like you know 97 percent passing rate in previous years and they went down to 76 percent after this 2019 exam so they changed I mean I didn't I, I've never seen the 2018 or previous years um pants exams but they did change the exam it's a lot more tasks on there i didn't study the tasks and there were a significant amount of question questions on the tests and just like other like miscellaneous things that i could have read over and got easy points um but it is what it is uh what else another thing was i drilled into my head like do not change your answer i have a habit of going back and second guessing myself when I knew the answer the first time so that's 
a tip that I have for you guys if you're going to be taking the pants anytime soon or next year, whenever you finish PA school, don't change your answers. Follow your gut. And if you're wrong with your, you know, if your gut is wrong, oh well. Like, you know, um, because nine times out of ten, you, you're right. Like, you've seen the information before. It's something in your brain that's telling you, like, to pick that answer. So, just pick that answer and move on. And now, if you really don't know it, that's different. But if you if you're like this is it don't talk yourself out of an answer um what else did i do i was googling my life away oh my gosh uh i was on pa forums just reading how like you know people who have failed and um passed the exam the second or third time it, it were, there were people who failed like four times I'm like yo that's crazy like I don't want to fail four times and that's no diss to anybody that has failed this exam multiple times excuse me because this exam doesn't test your clinical skills this exam is like a medical SAT like it's just so random and it it only proves that you're a good standardized exam taker like this doesn't prove that you'll be a great PA or um what you actually know from PA school it the exam sucks and that's just what it is but it's something that we have to do as PAs in order to practice um how I feel now about passing the pants I feel like there is a great weight lifted off of my shoulders I was stressing out like my anxiety was on 10 I had to take um volume to sleep like the week before my exam because I wouldn't sleep at night I do have anxiety um so after I found out that I passed I was at my little part-time job and I was oh my gosh I was on my phone like refreshing my emails like it was no tomorrow I'm like yo it's a week later where are my results Thursday morning the Thursday morning a week after I uh took the pants I was just like oh my gosh where are my results where are my results and um I'm like you know what forget this so I went on the NCCPA website and I typed in my credentials and for some reason it had asked me have I ever been convicted of a felony and have I ever lost my license or something like that I'm like no 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 and I hit submit mind you that's not um what it usually looks like when you log on um and then it said certified and I like screamed. I called my mom. I was crying. Um, I called my grandma, my aunt. I, oh, I sounded real serious. I'm like, Auntie, where's grandma? She's like, she's sitting right here next to me. I was like, can you put on a speaker? And I made sure, like, you know, I kept my excitement down. And then she put me on speaker and I'm like, I passed, I passed. I was crying. I'm like, I can't believe it. And my score actually went up by 150 points. After this time, after switching my study style, um, but my favorite out of everything that I use would probably be between Med Geeks and HippoEd. Uh, PS Prep Pro definitely reinforces, and if you're just like you know super genius, maybe you don't need to do uh, everything that I did. But I had to do all that I had to do, so I made sure you know so I could pass because who wants to pay another five hundred dollars for our exam? So, um, those would be my top two. I I talked to my classmates who used Kaplan. They didn't really like Kaplan too much. Smarty Pants was cool. It's definitely uh, cheap and it reinforces the information again. But I wouldn't use Smarty Pants as a sole store, source of studying for the pants. Um, this guy named Brian Wallace does have a podcast that is available on apple music i believe it is and i will listen to his podcast too because he's, he's not monotone he's very his voice is very intriguing he um he goes through the information and it's not into too much detail because a lot of the stuff you already learned or already knew in pa school so um that definitely helped the only thing is uh his information isn't up to date to the for the 2019 exam because he's been doing the podcast for a while so you know like the jnc what were we using before i forgot jnc like six and now you have to use jnc eight for the exam just like little minor tweaks like that or like the updated um what else what else did they update uh 
JNC is the only thing that's popping up right now but it, there were like little things like that that you could look up on your own uh and what's next for me I am actually you know interviewing for positions I haven't accepted an offer just yet I do want to relocate out of the Buffalo area to either Atlanta or Houston Texas you know I might be I'm be a H Tower hottie hopefully or Georgia Peach um but for now I'm cool with uh staying in the area temporarily so I can save up my little coin and be out here and travel and finally live my life I want to go to I want to go everywhere like I can't wait to travel that's one of my big things like when interviewing uh what what's the schedule like you know what's the PTO I prefer a schedule where I work 12 hour shifts three shifts a week and then I can just go do whatever I have some other things in the work uh in the works business wise um I'm doing some modeling you guys should see that soon and yeah life is just about to take off from here um, I'm so happy that I passed. I'm so happy that everything that I've worked for is coming to like fruitation. Like it's, I can just, I have like this really good feeling about 20, you know, the summer 2019 and beyond. Um, I don't know. I'm just excited to see where life takes me to see if I will be in H Town. I really want to go to Houston. So if you know some Houston, you know, places hiring or you know somebody hit me up so I could send them my CV uh what else I'm sorry for saying uh and um so much my thoughts go so fast that I can't get them out fast enough sometimes and I think that's it for this video again thank you guys for watching and rocking with me and subscribing and following I try to read as many messages as I can uh they're also inspiring and um motivating I really appreciate it all. I'm gonna try to do some more. As you know, I, as I make some more money. I'm gonna try to do bigger giveaways or I don't know, but we're gonna see. I should be doing some more um, Instagram lives. I think I've done like two. I'm gonna do it again though. And make sure you guys like, comment, and let me run, run that back turbo. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter, but I'm a little um, less. I'm a, I'm more of myself on Twitter. That's just me. So that's not like my professional platform. But I mean, if you want, you can follow. Um, <laughs> but yes, thank you for watching and continue to watch. Uh, tell your friends to tell a friend, share this video, whatever you got to do. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And I'm out.